guys, um, I want to start this video by saying I don't know how to introduce myself. Um, but this is going to be my first YouTube video. Um, I don't want to join booktube for a really long time, um, but anxiety always prevented it. Like, um, but I finally decided after seven years of blogging. Um, that I was gonna take the leap and start a blog. Yeah, uh, I will apologise for the abysmal lighting and sound quality on these videos. Um, until I get a decent setup, I'm filming in my bedroom from my iPad. Um, but we've all got to start somewhere, you know, guys. Um, so, a bit about myself. Um, I'm 25 from the UK. Um, I'll be going to university next year. Not sure what I'm going to study yet, but looking at English literature, of course. Um, have my blog, um, which will be linked down below, um, for the past seven years. And in the past three ish years, I've noticed my stats like absolutely booming. Um, so I thought now would be the perfect time to expand my platform and meet more bookish friends. I didn't want to start my channel with like a TBR or a wrap up because I'm a chaos gremlin and forget 90% of what I read unless I write down. Um, so actually I'm going to start my channel with a reading vlog. Um, I was lucky enough to get an arc Excuse that. <laughs> That's my cat. She really wants to be laying and I've locked her in. You will meet her eventually. And the three babies we have running around at the minute. Um, I was fortunate enough to get on a blog tour for The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Um, if you haven't read that series yet, it's a YA mystery following um, a girl named Avery. Um, who's written into the will of, um, <laughs> here she is, say hi Duke, this is Suki, she's four, and she just had some babies, so she'll probably join us in a few videos. Um, yeah, Avery is written into the will of um, billionaire, um, Tobias Hawthorne, I think his name is, um, and she doesn't know why, and he's left her and his grandson's puzzles and clues they've got to figure out. Um, I'm going to keep it very right vague because it is the final book in the series. First book being The Inheritance Games, and the second one being The Hawthorne Legacy. But that's going to be my first video. So, hey guys. Um quick update so I didn't actually get any reading done last night I procrastinated way too much surfing reddit and tiktok um but I need to get the book read for the blog tour which is 8 p.m tonight it's currently just before 1 p.m so I have about seven hours to finish the final gambit so Let's go. to go back into despite being quite a few months since I read The Hawthorne Legacy. I'm not going to go into much detail obviously it is the finale of a series but all I can really say is I still love Jameson and Grayson even though Grayson is on the verge of a huge mental breakdown and we're now being introduced to some characters who I think are going to have 
a massive impact on this book and the way it's going to end. So I can't wait to see. Um, you know, we've got the overarching mystery of why Avery was chosen by Tobias to be his heir, um, as well as all the games and puzzles and riddles that go with that. But we've also got a really big mystery surrounding Toby and why he left Hawthorne House um, and why he and Avery are being targeted and who's behind that. This series reminds me a lot of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, where the first book is pretty wholesome and then it progressively gets darker. Um, and in the final book, it gets very dark. Uh, and I'm getting the same kind of vibes with the Inheritance Games. I don't know where it's going to go right now. There's a lot going on, a lot of play is being made um, that they don't really understand and they're trying to figure out what people want and why they're doing the things they're doing. So I have a feeling it's going to get much darker and someone's probably going to get injured or maybe even a potential death um, before the end of the series, but I'm excited to find out. Hey guys, um, so I had to go and acquire caffeine, which is caffeine in my lovely Nevernight mug. Um, yeah, I'm probably not gonna check in now until about the halfway point, because obviously I don't wanna be just like checking in all the time. <laughs> of information coming in but we don't really understand what's going it's not giving us any more explanations as to who's taken Toby and why they've taken him and what they want from the Hawthorne family uh, in particularly Avery who is the heiress at the moment I'm struggling to see where all the connections are but we are getting a lot on the interpersonal relationships so we get to see development in the relationship between Avery and Jameson, support relationship between Avery and Grayson, between Nash and Libby, which is how cute, even if she won't admit they're dating. Um, and then obviously we've also got this new relationship between Grayson and Eve. And I don't think it's a good idea with Eve's resemblance to Emily. And if you've read the series, you'll understand the significance of that. And then obviously with Eve having a strong connection to Toby, uh, which for the family isn't an amazing thing. But we're also getting a theme of the prodigal son coming strongly to light. Like the prodigal son, the biblical parable is essentially overriding everything. And I think they're looking in the wrong place. That They're looking heavily at Toby. Um, and Tobias Hawthorne and I think 
it's a red herring. I think they should be looking outside the Hawthorne family altogether. Yeah. So I'm just going to have to wait and see how these connections actually come together and what it actually means. So um, I'll probably check in when I'm about three quarters of the way done. Um, and then again, obviously at the end with my... <laughs> percent done now um we've just got some major reveals and um, we've got confirmation from tobias hawthorne about why he picked avery and what her purpose was in this whole game but it isn't over yet she knows who she's facing down now and why it's just a question of how the final confrontation is going to take place and how it's going to play out in the grand scheme of things. I think Avery is going to win. It's completely implied that she's going to win. But the question is still going to be what sacrifices is she going to have to make? Especially since chess and specifically the Queen's Gambit has been referenced a lot in this book. And for the Queen's Gambit to work in chess, you have to sacrifice a pawn to control the board. So who is Avery going to sacrifice, whether literally or metaphorically, to beat her opponent and take control of the board the way Tobias intended her to? Um, knowing Avery as a character, I assume it's going to be herself she's going to sacrifice and potentially leave Toby in her place as the prodigal son returning. That's what I think, but um, Barnes could throw me through it for a loop and give us a really big twist at the end, but I'm excited to see it. <laughs> expecting but a big bang i can't say too much about the ending because obviously i'm going into major spoiler territory there it blew my mind honestly the characters ended up being amazing they were flawed they were broken and they were most definitely human um and they felt extremely real like they made decisions that you would see as stupid or selfish or impulsive because that's what people do, um, especially when emotions are involved. It overrides logic. Um, the setting never felt stale or boring, even though we are in Hawthorne House for the majority of the series. The challenges the characters go through feel real and the motivations are real. I think it's literally cemented jennifer lynn barnes as one of my all-time favorite authors like i will read anything this woman writes especially if it's a mystery like this it's just so well crafted and there's so many twists and turns but it never feels like there's too many um if you haven't picked up the inheritance games definitely pick it up i i read all three books in single sittings once you finish them, you just can't stop reading them. 
and this final book was no different. I started it just before 1pm and it's about 8pm now, so seven hours I just sat and devoured it from beginning to end. Absolutely amazing.